Hey guys, how's it going? Hey everybody, how's everything? Welcome to another Friday live stream here, live from the land of the rising sun. Uh, for those who don't know, Japan. Um, do people not know that phrase? I don't know. I don't know what people know anymore. Sometimes I say things to people and they're like, what the hell are you talking about? Hello from France. Bonjour, bienvenue. Spe for the amount of time I lived in Quebec, my French is just terrible. Um, what conditioner am I using? I don't know. Whatever we buy at the drugstore. Um, we bought a nice smelling one the other day. I don't. I just don't know the brand. It seems to be like a local brand here. It's not like Dove or you know some American brand. Um, but yeah, you gotta you gotta condition your hair sometimes. Uh, okay, how's uh, everyone's doing? Well. Having a good, uh, having a good week. So let's uh, let's 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 end the week together, or start my weekend. So uh, just to give you a little bit of naked and famous denim tatanyoko kind of update news. Start there. Um, I promised last week that I would have the delivery schedule up on the website for everyone to review. Uh, it is now our our. Our tentative delivery schedule is now available on Tatanyoko and NakedFamousDenim.com. On uh, Tatanyoko, just click blog and NakedFamousDenim.com. It's under news. Um, so you can also preview all the products. So there's there's uh, photographs of everything available now, um, along with pricing, so that you can you can figure all uh, you know your finances and stuff out. Um, what else do we have? Uh, oh, just. The release schedule is, of course, tentative. So, you know, if there are any delays with production or things change, the schedule will change. So it's a, it's a constant work in progress. But I can say for certainty right now that the first three weeks of releases, so July 31st, the Tatami Denim, August 7th, Okama Spirit 4, and August 14th, Huntsman, are all, those are confirmed. So those are those will be uh, released on schedule. Um, and I'm pretty sure the Black and Steel Duck, August 21st, will also be on schedule as well. So uh, expect, expect to see more fall winter 20 updates in the coming uh, weeks. Uh, you're gonna see a lot of a lot of uh, product detail imagery and, and you know discussions about it. So uh, I know that a lot of you guys who have been uh, following me here on the Instagram live ha has, have mostly seen everything by now, but uh, you'll, you'll see even juicier photos rather than my uh, crappy camera phone video quality, yeah. Um, what's your favorite denim jeans out of the very unique ones you've made? Um, I would say the King of Slub fabric. So King of Slub, Emperor of Slub, that's, that's my favorite denim that we've ever produced to date. Um, Lord of Nep is up there. 32 ounce is definitely up there. Um, I can't find the prices on either site. Uh, if you go to Tatian Yoko, um, click on the product. So it's, I, I, here, I'll show you how to do it. So here's the, the Tatian Yoko uh, blog post. Um, and then uh, here, like Tatami Denim, for example. And then it brings you to the collection page so you can see everything. And then, you know, you have all the pricing here. Um, it says coming soon, so it's not available to purchase yet. Um, you can click on that item, takes you to the product page. Um, measurements are up for certain items. So uh, you can already plan. If the measurements are up, that means those are the, the, the right measurements. Um, you can, if you want, like if you are interested in a particular size, just, you know, go pick whatever size you need. And then, you know, it's not available to purchase, but if you hit email me when available, you put in your information and we'll send you an email as soon as they are available. So that's a good way for you to, uh, to be notified when uh, that stuff's happening. Um, Batman collab will be available at the Royal Racer. Um, I don't think so. Let me, I can, uh, you can ask them about it, um, but I, I don't think they put in an order for the Batman collab. Um, I can check right now. Uh, Royal Racer, no. I don't have an order for them for that. You can you can check in with them, but uh, 
I'm just gonna check over here. Yeah. Uh, maybe in France it's gonna be a little bit... Uh, oh no, wait, L'Exception will have it in France. They've, uh, they had a great assortment of the Dragon Ball collection. L'Exception will have a great assortment of the Batman collection as well. So definitely want to check that out. Um, when will the Hanami Salvage be back in stock? So we'll have it back in stock at the Yoko when we flip the New York store over to fall winter mode. So they'll start shipping back kind of the seasonal items uh, back to us. And then when we get it back in at HQ, we'll put it on uh, Tatian Yoko. But if there's something you want right now, Hanami salvage wise, send the New York team, uh, Naked and Famous Denim NYC on Instagram, uh, send them a DM, request your size and fit. And if they have it, they can arrange uh, uh, shipping to you. So they'll send you like a online, uh, like an email invoice and you can just put in your information and we'll uh, we'll send the item out your way. Um, Okay, I'm a Spirit Force gonna be fire. Would love it in a stack guy. Okay, here's here's another bit of um, housekeeping news. So last week and uh, for the last, I, I've been getting a couple of messages here and there from people about more stacked guy options. And now that we've had the factory and kind of the office has been running for a little bit of time, we've been able to assess kind of you know what where the production schedule is and and where we're at in terms of being able to do smaller projects. So I have planned out for the Dirty Fade Salvage, Left Hand Twill Salvage, and Natural Indigo Salvage to be available in the stacked guy on a pre-order basis. Essentially, I want to see where all the stacked guy customers are at. You know, are these requests for more stacked guys a, is it, you know, something people are just saying, or just, just, do people actually want more stack guy options? So uh, I'm going to put it out there uh, to pre-order these items. And if they do well, um, at least well enough for us to continue on with like, you know, regular production, we'll do that. So I'm going to start testing these waters a little bit. So um, watch out for the announcement for that. Um, I'm going to have that in the next two weeks or so uh, up and ready. So... I'm just waiting for, uh, because we haven't made any samples yet, um, and we probably won't, well, I don't know, I'll double check to see what, how busy they are, but uh, I'm just going to have the measurements available, so I'll, I'll get my pattern maker to, uh, she's going to do the entire grading chart for the, for the style, and then she'll send it uh, my way, I'll, I'll list that on the website so people have a, an understanding of what uh, those jeans are going to fit like, so uh, expect more information soon. Um, Hello, hello, everybody. Do you have Do you have any pictures of the blue core denim really faded? Not yet, um, but you've seen pictures of the blue core. You've sorry of the green core, red core, on Tate and Yoko's Instagram. They just posted an amazing photo of a rainbow core denim. So you can imagine, you know, I guess the especially with the uh, green core and the red core, we're using the same fabric base, so. I suppose I could do a Photoshop job, maybe, and just, like, replace the tint. But th that's kind of the idea that you're going to get. It's going to be, like, a, a brighter blue shining through on the dark indigo. Um, hey, Garrett. Um, do you do custom orders for jackets? I wanted 100 jackets with a, a branded logo or, or patch. Um, we do some production for other brands and companies, so uh, if that's something you're interested in, um, you can send me a DM or uh, send me an email and we can work that out. That's not a problem. Um, how many pairs do you normally make of a run of something like Oka Oka Spirit 4 or an elephant? It depends. Um, it really depends. So it can go anywhere from... Like on a very small production, like, you know, but like, for example, the, uh, like talking of small productions, the MIJ eight, that's going to be like 120 pairs of in three fits. So that's a very, very tiny production. You know, you're looking at, um, around 40 pairs per fit. So it's not, it's not a lot. Um, but in an Oka Amis Spirit four, mm, in the low, it depends, you know, it depends. Um, 
on an Okayama Spirit 4, maybe we're going to make 1,200, 1,500 pairs, something like that. Um, but sometimes it could be, like on a core model, we're making in the several thousands at a time. Um, the seasonal stuff is not at, like... Because the core stuff is always running, we can make a lot more of it. But the seasonal stuff, you know, it, we, yeah, it, it depends on how much, how many units are booked. So it also depends on the, the retailers that we're working with at the time. So if we're working with like a, like a department store, like a Nordstrom or, um, or, a, or a Barney's, then you know, those numbers are, are going to be a lot bigger because they have more doors. Um, but, uh, like, for example, right now we're at the Macy's Herald Square, and uh, they had planned out, so, just, this is kind of interesting, and this is kind of one of the, uh, I guess, you know, due to COVID, this is kind of sort of the stuff that, it, not just us, but a lot of, a lot of brands are dealing with. Um, so Macy's had plans for us to be expanded out into more doors. They, they were opening these new kind of like elevated type Macy's locations. And we were part of that whole like, you know, premium brands uh, rollout. And we had all of our orders booked for that type of thing. And then the project gets canceled. And it's just like, you know, eventually it'll roll out, but it's just like, these are things that, that kind of yeah, and you you totally understand. I mean, it's not it's not not their fault or anything like that. And um, you know, even with other retailers, people people are scaling back these orders. And so I think the fall season is going to be a really weird one because we're kind of in this middle zone right now where part of the world is open, part of the world's not open, and um, people are going to stores, but people aren't going to stores. Like you know, we opened New York. Um, just a little over a week ago and, you know, the sales and the traffic of the stores, like really it spikes, you know, so it's not as consistent as it used to be. Um, I think part of that is because the neighborhood just isn't as open as it was. Um, so you're not getting that traffic, you're not getting the tourists. So, but at the same time, like all those bills got to be paid and, and things like that. So rent has to be paid, staff has to be paid. So, you know, you're, you're, you're just kind of operating and, you know, things are thin, but, uh, you know, we're going to get through this. I think a lot of brands are going to get through this as well. But uh, yeah, anyways, that was a weird segue into uh, the the unusual business that we're in right now. Speaking of unusual business, right now we're in, I was supposed to get our, our samples for spring, summer tw uh, 21 yesterday. They didn't arrive. FedEx didn't show up. So hopefully they're going to come today. I, I wanted to show that stuff to you guys, but uh, I guess I'll have to wait till next week. But um, so we've been t uh, asking around. Uh, other brands, other retailers, like what's going on in, in their world? Because we're prepared for um, spring, summer 21 booking season. All of our samples are ready. I would say that we're probably like, we're like three weeks late if in terms of compared to where we would be like uh, same time last year. You know, we would have already done the uh, trade show in, we would have done like a showroom in France already. And New York would probably be next week. So we would be, you know, perfectly in line with New York, but we obviously wouldn't have been ready for France, but typically we are. Uh, bonjour. Um, so uh, I think we've, we've mitigated, you know, that a lot. But of course, we're not going to make a lot of face-to-face contact with people. Um, so right now we're, we're going to produce a video for our customers to watch. And then we're also going to, um, do fate, like, you know, online meetings, like a lot of people have been doing just to get that face, face to face interaction with our customers, talk about the collection with them. So in terms of being ready, I don't know from what I've been hearing, we're pretty early. A lot of what I've heard from other retailers is that their booking seasons, like their appointments are scheduled for August, September, even as late as October. So if that's the case, if say a brand is taking in orders in October, that means they have to close their booking season at some point after that and then get their production done in time for the spring season, which is only just a few weeks away. If you think at the end of October, if you're still collecting orders, by the time you place your fabric orders, the fabric is made, it's shipped, it's, it's produced, you know, you're, it's, 
that's, that, that takes weeks and weeks and weeks, sometimes months. So um, I wonder how deliveries for a lot of brands and how retailers are going to deal with spring, summer 21. We'll find out. We're, we are going to ship on time. Uh, I have no, I'm pretty confident with that unless there's some sort of like super pandemic that, you know, we have no idea about and can't control. But um, so long as the world is the way it is presently uh, or plans on getting better, then we will have a, uh, a smooth rollout spring, summer 21. Anyway, that's many, many, many months away from now. Speaking of fall, winter 21, it's fall, winter 20. Hey, mom. Um, fall, winter 20 is not that far away. We have releases scheduled up on Tad and Yoko and on NakedFamousDenim.com. You can check that out. Um, we have the first release coming out at the end of this month, July 31st, Friday, July 31st. We will be releasing the Tatami Denim. If you go on TatanyokoDenim.com right now, you can already see the products. You can see the measurement charts. Um, the way to see the products is to go to our blog section. Um, click on the fall winter 2020 release schedule and then you'll see links to each one of the uh, product collections in the schedule so hey hey um i'm getting my first pair soon if i want a black super guy should i wait for fall winter 20 and try to grab something or or try to grab something now a black super guy for fall winter 20 i don't think that there's anything um that you need to wait for in terms of black denim, um, if you want a very classic black denim, go for the solid black selvage. Black power stretch is a great option um, if you want like something that's very stretchy. Um, but if you want best of both worlds, we've got the black cobra. So that's a black stretch selvage. We've got a lot of black options for you. Um, good morning from Japan. Likewise, I I'm here in Japan, so it's, it's morning for me too. Um, uh, the valet tray is awesome. Any other sort of homewares in the works, like a plate set or coffee mugs or ceramics. I would like to do more mugs. I wanted, obviously, I think if you guys, I don't know how obvious it is actually, if you guys have been watching these live streams for some time, you know that I have a affinity for milk glass um, and uh, Fire King mugs and thing, uh, things of that nature. I'd like to do those again. We've, we've made some in the past. We'll see. Um, I, we had some complications with that before, so um, I don't know if it'll happen, but I, I really enjoy this type of uh, glassware, and if we're going to do it, we, we, we should be doing it like this. Hello from Cleveland, Ohio. I, I like it when you guys tell me where you're from. It's uh, maybe uh, it, it just, you know, it just you know, shows how, how global this whole whole thing is house tour uh not yet we're not ready for that yet it's still a still a work in progress um you'll get glimpses of it as as i uh as i walk around the place um bay area california california in the house oh, i'd love a mug i'd love a cream colored one uh, northern ireland man the whole the whole every everybody the whole world is here um welcome um, other housewares other than that, I don't know. Um, we'll see. I think the, uh, I think the valet tray kind of came out as a, uh, like our leather crafts guy was just like, just made it. And he's like, check it out. We're like, oh, good idea. <laughs> so, um, we used to do like random products back in the day. And we made a beer cooler once. Um, I'm trying to think of some of the other rando things that we used to make. We had a baseball, a salvage denim baseball glove at, at like the very first season. Um, that was pretty neat. Um, I'm trying to think, what else did we make? We made a beach chair once that we never made production of. We uh, we thought it was pretty cool, but we took it on the road with us, and um, it broke by the time we were done our trade show season. We're like, we can't sell these. <laughs> um Three months into both pairs, love them, love them both. Keep up the great work. Thank you. Um, uh, enjoy the jeans. Um, when will the Elephant Nine release? Elephant Nine is on the production. Uh, sorry, it's on the release schedule. Um, it is going to be available Friday, September fourth. So just a couple of weeks away. Um, 
Where do I live? I'm in Yokohama. Uh, Kentucky over here. Kentucky in the house. Um, updates on 40 ounce. Um, Correctionville, Iowa. That's an interesting name. Correctionville. I wonder how I got that name. Um, Malcolm, Georgia. PDX, Oregon. I'll be wearing your jeans for the first time in Dublin this weekend. Fantastic. Mississauga, Ontario. That's awesome. Uh, I, I lived in Mississauga for a long time. Uh, I went to T.L. Kennedy High School, if, uh, if you're around uh, uh, Mississauga there. Spent a lot of time at Palladium and Square One. That was my home. Um, Mississauga, Ontario. I love, I love Mississauga. I, I, I love going back. It's always a great place. Um, where my Ryu's always a great pair. Uh, definitely need house rug or denim. Definitely, definitely. We need a rug. There's no question about that. We had a rug that we bought, and um, our cat immediately. I'm talking like within week, a week or two of owning that new rug that we just spent a decent amount of money on, peed on it three times and ruined it. And uh, that rug is no longer here anymore. So we have to be careful with the kinds of rugs that we get. Um, it was like a high pile rug. So I would see my cat like in there and digging into it like he was in the litter box. So I'm like, I think he thinks this is a litter box. And then he peed in it many times. So we need, if we're going to have a rug, I think it needs to be something that can go into a washing machine. Um, so we have to be a little... A little more careful this summer. He's never done that. We never had a high pile rug before, but uh, he's never peed in rugs before. He was just being a jerk, I think. I don't know. I'm not really sure. Um, you could do a roll to hold an AeroPress and coffee making tool. Oh, if you could do a roll, do a roll to hold an AeroPress and coffee making tools, you can have my money. What I don't know what you mean by that. If you could do a roll to hold an AeroPress, I have an AeroPress. Not here though. Um, it's in the Montreal office. Um, I do enjoy, and my I, and my 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 in Montreal also. I have my my Chemex, so I don't have as much uh, of my coffee stuff here as uh, as I usually do. But I, I'm I'm maintaining. Um, um, updates on forty ounce. I'm gonna check in with the office on that. Um, it's it'll be in the fall sometime. We will have some available. For the fall. Aaron Mills, uh, the guy from Mississauga. I used to hang out at uh, Aaron Mills Town Center. I used to play at that arcade. There was an arcade in there um, for a long time. Well, at least when I was in high school, we used to go out there and play a lot of Street Fighter. And I played a lot of Dance Dance Revolution on that as well. Um, is it safe, uh, Yokohama, about Corona? I think so. Um, I don't... I don't I don't speak a lot of Japanese, so my understanding of what's going on in the news is filters through some of the uh, English YouTubers that I watch, and um, and my wife. I think it's okay. We've, you know, we've been living our lives pretty normally out here. Uh, we work from home, so that prevents us from leaving the house, you know, every day. But, um, you know, we wear masks and things like that. But I think it's I think it's OK here. I, ha I have to admit that, like, even during the height of Corona here in, in Japan, um, our area here never seemed like a ghost town. You know, we would sometimes go into Tokyo um, and uh, like it was some places were empty and it was weird. Like you would go to Shinjuku and uh you know, we I remember had to uh, we had to go there, and uh, we're at Shinjuku Station, and usually there are tens of thousands of people there at any given second. I'm like in the afternoon, and we went there, and there were dozens of people, and it was weird. It was so weird to see nobody in the streets of Shinjuku, or even like Shibuya was also a little bit like. Every, I don't know if you guys have ever seen videos of Shibuya Crossing. Like it's a very very busy crossing walk here in Tokyo, and. Uh, you know, thousands of people walking on this crosswalk every few minutes and, um, yeah, dozens of people. So very, very odd. I don't think we're ever going to see, well, hopefully we never have to experience something like this again. Um, but yeah, um, 
Dude, greetings from LA. Okay, my questions. Many. Jackets, I never see that many. Fall, winter is coming. Do you guys make any any crew denim? Have a great weekend. Okay, a crew denim, we have one right now. We have the uh, natural indigo, uh, sorry, natural, uh, uh, what do we call it again? The, the, my brain is farting. Let me just pull it up for you. The natural seed denim. So uh, this is an accru denim that is available presently. Um, I've actually been talking, you know, I don't know why the name escaped me. It's just, sorry, there's a lot of names in my brain. Uh, I was talking about this gene recently with a customer, and this is a non selvage denim. And somebody was asking if we were going to make a selvage version, and I I answered probably not. And the reason for that is, and we have this price at $136. And it's a non selvage with a little bit of stretch. And the reason why we didn't do a selvage version is because it'll probably add 40, 50 bucks to the retail price. And I find for a denim that you're not, most people probably, this won't be their daily driver. So if you're gonna make an investment in money, I feel like most people, most folks, they wanna invest in a piece that they're gonna get lots and lots of wear out of. So we wanted to keep this price point intentionally low so that you can enjoy it during the summertime when, when you can enjoy uh, denim like this. Um, so that, that's why we wanted to keep the price low. So uh, we don't have a selvage version of this, and I don't think we're going to. In the past, we have had them, but um, today, just the way I'm thinking about it, I, I don't think it's necessary for us to, to include a, a selvage version. Um, as for denim jackets, oh, jackets, I never see that many. Uh, I'm assuming you're talking about denim jackets. We usually have four, maybe five a season. Um, that said, denim jackets are not as popular as you might think they are. Um, so we only can have so many, but to be fair, um, like let's just take a look at Tate and Yoko right now. And we have a lot of options. I think we've got more options than anybody. Like we're, we're just scrolling here and there are a lot of jackets for you to pick from. Uh, so we've got something for everyone. Um, we've got corduroy. These are the Melton chore coats that are going to be coming out in the fall. So those are new. Uh, sorry, not Melton. These are uh, black uh, uh, canvas coats. Uh, and then we have uh, indigo basket weave, like a sashiko one. Um, we've got some great corduroy jackets coming, elephant jacket, tatami denim jacket, black and steel duck jacket, vulgar denim too, Okayama spirit. Um, so there is there is quite a bit. I don't know what happened to the black power stretch denim jacket photo. That's weird. Um, I will fix that. Uh, anyways, so we do have quite, quite a bit, but we only make like three or four, maybe five new models a season. Um, because that's kind of what is, that's what's being asked kind of from the, the consumer of us. So hopefully we'll have more soon. Uh, well, yeah, I mean, if we could sell more jackets, we'll have more jackets, but we, we kind of put out what, what is, uh, kind of the level of demand. Grow out those handlebars. Maybe, I'll look like Triple H. Um, denim blazer, maybe, maybe one day. I do want to, like we've, we've actually dabbled with that kind of world here and there, but um, nothing in the plans yet. Um, you guys going Paris, not this season. This is the first time in 10 years that uh, I didn't spend some time in the summer in Paris. It's it's a little strange, um, but well, hopefully we'll be back there again in January. Um, and it's you know Paris is fine in January because it's not particularly cold. Um, although one time I was there when it snowed and the whole city shut down, and it was kind of funny because it was like you know one inch of snow, like a couple of centimeters of snow, and the whole city shut down, and like we we're coming from Montreal. And I mean, you know, we've got feet of snow uh, on the ground and it's just like, and we just move on. So it was kind of funny. But uh, yeah, I like Paris in the winter because it's it's not particularly cold. You can still go around and, you know, you don't have to wear a heavy jacket or anything like that. But uh, Paris in the summer is, Paris in the summer is really where it's at. Um, and uh, we're, we're, we're missing out this season, unfortunately. But uh, we, we, we hope to be back again soon. Um, 
How's the business so far? Uh, like I was saying, we're, we're still recovering. I mean, traffic in our stores is still um, not where it used to be, um, but that's as expected. Um, you know, we're just we're just kind of chugging chugging along. I know a lot of people were affected by uh, losing their jobs or being furloughed or things like that. So money isn't as you know, people are home and people are spending, but there's also people who are home who can't spend. So, like, there's a lot of, you know, it's not as, uh, you know, you might get a spike one day, but, you know, the other days are not the, the same way and then you're managing all these different businesses. So, we're managing. Um, I think we're going to do fine. We'll, we'll make it through this um, without much issue. I think especially because we own our own manufacturing, we're not relying on others to make our stuff for us that will be able to get our product you know the, the the worst thing that could ever happen is to have orders for something and then not be able to fulfill them so i don't think we're going to be in that situation um thankfully so um i think also here in japan with with fad fabric production that stuff never got delayed for us at least not by much um so everything is moving as it should um with a little bit of delay but nothing that's gonna harm us too much um, as long as we're talking about jackets, any plans for or interest in doing type twos or storm riders or type threes? Uh, just over is the type three just that overwhelming number one? It's all that makes sense. Basically, um, I enjoy storm riders. I own some. I have type ones. I have type twos. I have vintage jackets that I really, really enjoy. But I think the vast majority of consumers out there, they don't quite, if it doesn't look like the style of jacket that we do, a lot of people just don't associate it with being a denim jacket. Um, and I would like to change that. If I would do another one, I would do kind of a, like a Storm Rider style jacket. Um, type ones and type twos are fine, but we already kind of do a we've we've lengthened our jacket over the years but it's already it's still kind of like that vintage style a little bit short kind of to the waist jacket um and if you're talking about like type ones and type twos those things are really really short like they're like a shirt um that you can't tuck in so i think those would throw people off a lot um and you know if you've got if you're a, a like a there's room in the world for it but i think it doesn't make sense for us to be doing like larger productions of it um like i said you know we're our, our productions on our jackets are pretty limited so if we're gonna make something we got to make sure that it's something that's gonna move um and I, I think for the enthusiasts that are out there like the real real purist enthusiasts like they're they enjoy those types of fits but and that's, that makes up some of our customer base, but I don't think that's our entire customer base. I think the vast majority of our customers are um, people who are, they they enjoy denim. They're not, you know, they're not the types who are on the forums every day or looking at jeans every day. Like this is our top, you know, 10, 20% of customers who are really, really purist enthusiasts and they're really, really into it. Other people, they just want clean jeans that they're going to be able to wear every day. They know that it's a good jean because, you know, the denim friend like you out there told them that this is the jean to get. So they're, they're people who are conscious of what they're buying, but they're not like deep, deep. So maybe throwing a, a fit that they're not so used to out there maybe it won't resonate so hard with them but that that's not to say that it, it would never happen maybe you know like we're doing these stack guy you know uh options maybe we do something like that down the road to, to gauge general interest so so we'll see um some of the photos are missing also i've noticed that the weight of some of the denim is different from the item descriptions on the back tag well the uh missing photos are it's because they haven't been photographed yet, uh, so that that's coming. Uh, and if there's anything, uh, if there are any typos, I will double check that. Um, that is, that is a possibility. <laughs> you know, it's uh, there's a lot of hands involved sometimes, um, and uh, yeah, like the elephant. Yeah, exactly. The elephant denim, like for example, on the flash of 21, 21 ounce, and on the, uh, the 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 copy, it's twenty ounces. Anyways, we'll we'll fix that. It's. Uh, Graphic design is a different team than copywriting, and anyways, we'll get it all sorted out. But thanks for letting me know. Um, 
You can't mention snow without a Canadian randomly appearing to tell you that the 17 feet of snow they get during the summer. It's very true. Um, uh, same goes for talking about how it is you summon an Ari Arizonian. How it is? I'm not sure what that means. Um, we had an electrician come in here the, uh, yesterday, and uh, a very funny old man. He just, he just loved talking, but... Uh, I find that uh, when, when people find out I'm Canadian, they always want to know if it's cold. And it's like, yeah, it can, it can get to minus 40. Um, so that's pretty cold. And for uh, my, my American friends, minus 40 is where uh, Fahrenheit and Celsius meet. So that is the same temperature. And uh, it means it's very, very cold out there. Don't hang out for a long time if, uh, if it's minus 40. Um, get, make sure you're wearing a nice, warm, heavy down jacket. Uh, would Nick and the Famous ever think about collaborating with Har Harley Davidson? Um, we're open to all kinds of collaborations. I mean, we have a lot of uh, motorcycle fans out there. I'm sure you guys see on the Instagram stories I post. Um, there's a lot of motorcycle guys. So, you know, I, I, I share their images a lot. So I know that they're out there. So, um, if, if Harley Davidson is interested, uh, maybe we could do something someday or, or another motorcycle brand. Um, I'm not a motorcycle enthusiast personally. Brandon, however, just bought a motorcycle and is planning on uh, being one of those. I don't know if he's going all the way, but uh, he bought a, a Japanese motorbike. I don't remember what, what it was. Um, what did he get? Was it a... No idea. I don't remember. Um, anyways, so... Yeah, the, we, there may be more motorcycle-y things as Brandon is entering the world of uh, motorcycle enthusiasm. Um, I'm trying to look for an example of an AeroPress roll. Can't find one. Basically like a toiletry roll, but for your AeroPress, beans and scale. Um, toiletry roll? Like a... Uh, I don't know. You're going to you're gonna have to send me what you're talking about. I'm not exactly sure. Make a hundred of them and... And on to the next, like for the jackets. Well, we will see. Um, I think the next like project jacket that we're going to do is the banner jacket that never got, uh, that was very close to having its uh, its birth. Um, so that will be the next one. The thing with doing a new fit means a new fit has to be developed. And considering the time to develop a new fit and only doing it for like 100 units, you know, there's uh, there's the, the development cost also with that. So if we're going to develop something, it's got to be something that is going to presumably do a little bit more business than that. Um, always wanted a supply jacket style, just can't get into the standard types. Right. Um, look, man, if you guys like stuff, if there's like, you know, iconic or classic styles, you're like, send me a picture in the DMs. Like, I would like... I take your feedback pretty seriously, so, um, yeah, uh, I, I always want to know what you're talking about. Would you ever do a, a co-op A2 leather flight jacket? We're not in the leather jacket business. I would like to do a leather denim jacket, like a rough out suede. That's something I've, I've, I've kind of always wanted to do. Um, I'm not sure if our factory, I know our factory in the past like a long time ago, used to do leathers and jackets and things like that. So I don't know if they, they have the equipment or like the staff and know-how to do that presently. But uh, yeah, I would like a rough out suede leather jacket. I would like a rough out suede like denim jacket with fringe. I mean, I, I, I really want a fringy leather jacket. Uh, just really live that, that 70s and, uh, you know, aesthetic, that, that, that dirty hippie aesthetic. Um Free jeans. That's uh how do you do that? Um ask a friend. Um, um okay, how I'm just gonna scroll down a couple questions here. Oh, uh Garrett is telling me that uh, Brandon just got a Ducati. Really? He, he bought did he buy another motorcycle? Because I'm pretty sure he, he bought a Japanese Motorcycle? He just bought a Ducati? Okay, well, good good for Brandon. He's uh, he's enjoying... You know, some people, when you get into a, a hobby, you, you kind of jump in um, 
pretty quickly. Uh, so like even with the raw denim community, sometimes people who are very enthusiastic about raw denim, they get their first pair and then within weeks they've got like five pairs. Um, and maybe that's, that's Brandon right now with the motorcycle. Um, I work in the oil patch. I know minus 40. Yes, absolutely. That is, that is a rough job. Good, good on you, sir. That is uh that is some hard work. Um, is the MK collab a modern MK 11 roster or something like the original? Uh, it'll be based on the original as much as I can. Konnichiwa. Um, uh, uh, yeah, it will be based on the classic. I enjoy modern Mortal Kombat. I don't, the thing is I watch, especially with fighting games and, and just my, the amount of time I have, um, I think I watch more gameplay videos than I actually play. Um, so that's, that's unfortunate for me, but I do, uh, my nostalgia for Mortal Kombat comes from that original trilogy, even into MK4. I played MK4. Um, I didn't mind it. People hated it, but I, I didn't mind it. I liked it. Um, I just thought it was fun, especially like because that was an early kind of 3D game and everything was going 3D. And at the time, you didn't know the graphics weren't good because that's what all the graphics look like. And, and so, or maybe I just didn't have a sense of it, but I enjoyed it. I, I played that in the arcades as well. Um, but the original trilogy spent a lot of time in the arcades and pizza shops playing that game. Um, there's an arcade one-up cabinet with all the Mortal Kombat that I'd like to get. There's also a new one with like Marvel vs. Capcom. Um, and I have to find a way to get them to Japan. I really want those things. Uh, not only not to find them how to, how to get them here, but I also have to find room in this place for it. So, uh, Arcade One Up. I really like uh, like to get those. Those are really cool machines, by the way. I think they're doing a great job. Um, a midnight slubby Kevlar, seventeen ounce heavyweight denim. A midnight slubby and Kevlar. That's a lot. That could that could happen one day. Um, just got the trunks on the super fu super guy fit. It's my go to right now. Would you ever do a denim with any of these collab patches? Would you ever do with these? I think they'd be fire. Would you ever do a denim hat? A denim hat with the collab patches. Um, I don't think so. Um, I think with, uh, yeah, I don't think I'd make a, a, a leather patch leather hat. I don't know. That's a little odd, a little out there for me. Um, hair looking majestic. Thank you. I always wanted to be in a shampoo commercial. Um, that's cool. Fringe is fun. Fringe is fun. It's not for everyone, but uh, if you're an eccentric, then certainly. Hello, Capsule Show. Thanks for joining us. Uh, Stretch Savage arriving next week. Six pair. Hope you guys are well. Great to great to hear from you. Um, yeah, we're doing we're doing great. Hopefully, we'll we'll be back on that side of the planet soon. Uh, Capsule Show. We miss you guys too. It's uh, it's been a long time. Remember the time? I don't know who's who's handling the account right now. That you guys gave me the account for a day. <laughs> <laughs> um, just a funny story. Um, so Capsule is a trade show that we, we used to exhibit at, and uh, it, it has turned into, uh, it was uh, acquired by a show called Liberty, and so it's, 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 it has the same vibe, so a lot of the same folks are, are there, a lot of the same staff. And uh, not all, but anyways, a lot of a lot of great people that we know, and, and just a, a great environment, and uh, for, for for brands like us to to, to do our thing. And uh, so, one time they they gave me their Instagram, and they were like, "Okay, Bayz, it's you're you're in charge of the Instagram for a day. Do your thing." And so. The, Instead of doing what like a lot of people do, here's our booth, here's our brand, here's our blah blah blah. Great stuff, by the way. Nice, you know. I pretended like I found a phone, and I was trying to. Um, it was a story I was trying to tell, but they took the account back. Um, so I pick up the phone, I do an Instagram live or you know story, and I'm like. Um, sorry, I just found this phone. Um, who's, uh, what is this? Can you, if you, if you know anybody, contact me. And so I was going to do this whole story where I, I, I find this phone 
and I'm contacted, and then I have to go through the streets of Paris to find where the event is, and then I go to the event, and I see it, and I show off all the stuff that's at the event. But they cut me off <laughs> because I guess somebody saw it. It was like, somebody found our phone, cut off the account. They didn't kind of get the, get the joke that was going to be playing out. Anyways, it was a lot of fun, and uh, I had uh, uh, some great reactions from that. Uh, anyways, very true. I just got the Crossroads a few weeks ago and already bought my second pair island blue this week you know my wife's dad wears the crossroads denim and they look great on him um brandon also wears the crossroads a lot so it's one of those jeans that i think um if, if you like weird fabrics you're gonna love it but you'd be surprised just how like easily daily worn those jeans are um yeah it's a it's a cool jean um how about some interesting projects with the uh, back leather patches um Redone wallets and such. Uh, maybe. We don't have a lot of extras. Um, like, yeah. But it, we, I remember um, our pattern maker once made us like a, a, a doormat with a bunch of uh, uh, like used or, or like not perfect uh, leather patches. Fringe salvage jacket where fringe tassels is salvage even if it's just for the runway. It was, you have no idea how expensive that would be. Like, you can get salvage tape so it looks like salvage. And that's what, like, a lot of, like, fake salvage jeans. I don't know if you know about this, but they exist where you, you flip up the cuff and it looks like a salvage edge. But then when you look closer, you see that it's, an, like, a piece of fabric that's been sewn on the edge of the, the, the out seam. Um, it's called... Like, it's, it's like fabric tape. Like, you get it to cover seams and things like that. But you can get it to look like selvage. So, I mean, if I were to ever do that fringe jacket, I would just get selvage tape and then cut it and, and make it look like selvage tassels. Because I think if we were to use real selvage, um, just think of the wastage on that. It's just not, it's not, it's doable. It's just so wasteful to take all, just the millimeters at the end of the roll just to use that for fringe, and then the rest of the roll is technically a salvage denim, but, you know, you can't, you can, but you can't really sell it as a salvage denim. So, anyways, yeah. Um, Morva's Capcom 1 is legendary. I agree. Um, I, out of all the Marvel games, that's the one I played the most. Um, and the first, well, X-Men vs. Street Fighter and Marvel vs. Capcom just, that was the Marvel's Capcom pretty much tanked my high school grades. I can I can say that with a lot of confidence that that game and just the fact that I was not going to school so that I could play that game was uh uh yeah my marks definitely suffered. Um, could you please make a denim bucket hat? I would like to. Um, maybe we will do that sometime. My wife made me one once. Um, so. Uh, it's definitely doable. Um, just about Hanami and Indigo Stretch and Super. I'm not sure what to wear first. Where are those Hanamis? Where are those Hanamis? Stash is majestic. Thank you. Um, saludos. How, how do I say this? Saludos desde Puerto, bro. You too. You too. I hope I didn't say anything wrong. Um, yeah, maybe <laughs> if people are going to write things in other languages that I don't understand... Um, but I think sal saludos, it sounds like salutation. So yes, I, I'm assuming that's a greeting. Uh, maybe I need to work on my Spanish a little bit. Um, uh, we need to have you take over the capsule IG again. I want to take over the capsule IG again. It's your favorite potato. Uh, my favorite potato? I think these are seven, uh, I think they're... I think these are pairs seven and eight. Love naked and famous denim. Thank you. Thank you for your support and uh, continued patronage here. What is your favorite pair? Um, number one for hats with the collab and classic patches. Uh, hats, probably. We'll probably do some more hats down the line. We haven't made, like, we had some five panel caps that we had for a while, and we haven't restocked those in a bit, but uh, I'll check in with Brandon and see what's going on with that. Um, What's the best way to, to stretch the waist of selvage jeans? Just wear them. Um, a rain denim, a rain denim tightly wo a rain denim, a tightly woven denim meant to resist water. 
Um, it's not so much the tight weave that's going to resist water. Materials and coatings are going to resist water. So if we were to put a like a, a, a Teflon coating or a, or a DWR, um, like a durable weather resistance coating, then we can make a water repellent denim. We've done a uh, Teflon coated denim before. Um, we'll probably do that again at some point. Um, will you? Will you may have a lot of extra with the switching out option to vegan patch a doormat made of leather patches is cool yeah we have a, a people take that option but you it's not as many as you as you think it might be um a lot of uh konnichiwa some some people from japan joining in here hello hello thanks for joining us here um it is salutations yes all right i'm gonna take you for a ride marvelous capcom 2 menu music still hear it in my sleep absolutely that and the daytona intro Daytona. That's my horrible singing voice. That just burned into my brain forever. Um, oh, there's there's Le Petit Potato. Oh, I uh, can't believe you didn't get my potato reference. Sorry. Um, do you speak Japanese? Uh, squishy. Uh, my, my Japanese is really not great. Um, my problem with speaking Japanese and... I have to get over it, is I can say stuff here and there. I understand it a lot better than I can speak it. Um, but when I speak, people answer me in Japanese. And then I can't often communicate back. So I'm in this bad loop of I don't get practice because I'm afraid of not being able to communicate. It's uh, I need to get over that. Um Will you ever make true olive green jeans, not green cast? True olive green jeans. We've made one. We used to have a jean called the Forest Green a long time ago. Um, I don't think that we'll ever do a like we do green like duck canvas. That I think and like we have green work pants um, and chinos. But I, it's interesting to me that it works in those respects, but green jeans maybe is not the most popular thing in the world. Um, anytime we do like a, a very sharp color jean, like a red jean, it's not it's not as popular as you might imagine. Um, is there an indigo dye trucker style jacket out there? I think you can make it. Is there an indigo dye trucker style? Um, the Emperor of Slub uh, might be the way to go if you're looking for something like that. Um, but I mean, we have a lot of indigo denim jackets. Uh, they're, they're, check out Tate Nyoko. Look at the, the denim jacket section. You'll see a lot of options. Um, my favorite Chinese New Year rooster, I think. Hard to pick. I really don't know right now. But the Hanamis blew me away when I saw The Hanamis are, they're such a perfect, like, such a good gene. I really like that gene. Chinese New Year, I like a lot, especially like if you get the year, like it's your year. Um, and I love that gold and red selvage edge on those. Um, leather indigo dye, that is. Leather indigo dye? Oh, like an indigo dyed leather, like, patch? Um, we don't have a... We don't. We have... We've had some blue shell cordovan, um, and, uh, like, some pull-up leather blue, but not indigo dyed blue leather. Not with real indigo. Any Batman or collab updates? Batman collab update is... There's nothing new at the moment. Um... I'm just waiting on the f factory to have samples ready. I know that not all the fabrics are in yet. Um, that's pretty much where we're at right now. So I don't have release date updates yet. I just can say around holiday. Um, I'm just hoping that I can have some samples to show off for realsies uh, sooner than later. I'm hoping that maybe I'll have all of the styles by... The time I go back to Montreal, which I'm hoping can be sometime in August, late August, early September, um, that I could show them to you from HQ. So uh, let's 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 see how that goes. Um, did you get some fancy fashion degree to get where you're at, or did you learn it all as I uh, went along? I learned it all as I went along. Um, I I did not go to school for fashion, and I I dropped out of university uh, very very quickly. Uh, I, the first time I was there, I was there for like four days, three days. That was it. wasn't for me. Um, I, I I worked in denim shops and in retail uh, and just worked my way up basically. Um, 
what's the release of that dark indigo mij no release date yet um it is uh it's just not on the schedule yet but it will probably be closer to the end of end of september early october um Michael Jackson times Naked and Famous Denim collaboration. I'm a big Michael Jackson fan. Um, I don't know if that would be a collaboration I would necessarily do. Um, like, I don't see him in denim very much. Like, like what would that look like? You know what's a weird collaboration? You want to talk about um, collaborations? Is... LA, I don't know if you guys remember the brand LA Gear. It was a sneaker brand. I don't know if they exist anymore, but in the early 90s and late 80s, they, they kind of popped up and were, 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 they were popular. And they made a Michael Jackson sneaker. Um, and think about like celebrity sneakers today and how popular they were. If you want to like look up the history of that sneaker, it's kind of interesting of like how big of a flop that it was. Um, and it was like a studded, you know, it looked like uh, it came out of the bad music video, you know. Um, but uh, yeah, that's a that's a weird. That, look that up. That's a, that's an interesting story. Um, I I used to know that feeling. I speak a little bit of French. That's a strange kind of panic when someone responds to you after you have spoken to them in their language. You know what the weird panic is? Is that I will sometimes, and it's happened to me before when I'm. I don't know how to say it in the language like that that I've I've tried to communicate in, and then I will speak another language to try and say something, and it's just like, why did I speak that language? Like I, I didn't even default to English; I just went to the other language that I knew. Um, so <laughs> I think my brain is just like uh, speak in not English, and uh, it just throws out whatever words I have. Um, Wish the jackets would go back to the six buttons. Person, personally, I just prefer the look, but the five buttons isn't going to stop me from buying a jacket. I think even before that, we used to have seven buttons on that jacket. Um, so it's reduced a lot. Um, I, I, I kind of prefer the five bu buttons more. But again, if you're a five button or a six button jacket kind of guy, I don't think it's going to make much of a difference. Um, have you made much social? It's like it's like you might. It's like you have made a social contract that you can communicate with them, but you can't back up. Yeah. I remember my first time coming to Japan, and I thought, okay, well, like, I'm just thinking back. Um, was Google Translate even around? I don't even think so. Um, and so I spent a lot of time with these, like, Japanese tapes and I, I even went to like a Japanese language course once. So I could speak a little bit. And the thing that messed me up was like in all my tapes, what was neat about them was they would like teach you a phrase and then they would make you kind of practice it with 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 the tape so it would be like say this or say that or like they would ask you a question and then your job was to answer it and then they would play back the like the answering of that and then you know i knew i was right and mostly because i listened to those tapes a lot um so i'm like okay like it never came to my mind that somebody's answer would be different than the answer that i was expecting so some i would i would say something and then words would come back at me and i'm like i don't know any of those words uh, what do, like what do I say now? So it's a, it's a weird thing. Um, Chinese New Year is a great concept. Only reason I ever thought, oh man, it'd be so cool when I get when I turn thirty six. You know, I think it's a. Uh, I also like the concept. It's a fun way to just make something a little bit more personal. Um, so yeah, I, I mean, we all have a Chinese zodiac sign. Uh, so. It's a it's a it's a great way to enjoy that, um, and it, it would be it's neat that if you you get it on your year, um, and then you wear it for the year, and then you have a gene that represents that year of your year. Um, why wax coated selvage? Can you make selvage wax coated black jeans? We do. We have a, a black wax coated jean on the website presently. Um, you can. I don't know how much stock we have, but uh, look up the black uh, black wax stretch. Black waxed yep here it is oh we have stock 
We do. Uh, so yeah, we've got a couple of different options here. Uh, you got the easy guy, super guy, stack guy, skinny guy, and weird guy. Weird guy sold out, but uh, super and skinny guy are, are available in this one. So yeah, uh, it's not salvage though. It's not salvage. That's true. It's not salvage. Um, I feel like you're gonna pull a sneaky on us with the Batman collab like you did with the D DBZ Imagine Boo. Um, I'm going to tell you right now, I am not uh, pulling a sneaky on you guys with this one. Um, I pretty much let the cat out of the bag. There's no Catwoman gene. Um, I let you guys know everything right away. Um, I do like pulling sneakies, but this one isn't one. Um, I missed out on the Metal Pig Chinese New Year. Shouldn't have slept. Here's, here's the thing. We actually have stock of some of the old leather patches. So if you want um, your year, we could just replace the patch for you. Um, so just shoot us a message and uh, we can we can make that happen. Um, LA gear is still around, but not as big. Yeah, I mean, I've, I haven't seen one in years. And uh, but they were they were big when I was a kid. I know um, I my sister had a pair. I never had a pair, but uh, that was that was a pretty big brand that was everywhere. Um, I may have missed this part of the IG live, but when do we find out when the fall collection will uh, will arrive? Um, on Tatan Yoko and on NakedFamousDenim.com, I released the release schedule, so you can go to the blog or the news section and you can see it right now. Um, can you show us your true grits? Want to see a faded pair? Oh, yeah. Let me let me get that for you. Um, give me a minute. Um, Sorry. Um, or you know what? I will take pictures of my True Grits today and I will have them on the Instagram right after this uh, live. Um, they're still on stewartslondon.com and Weird Guy. Um, somebody was looking for a pair and apparently they are on, they are on Stewart's London. So, so check them out over there. Um, Indigo dyed leather jacket, I mean. Jeez. Um, we've tried... Doing indigo dyed leather uh, in our in our leather place, um, it doesn't come out as nice as we had hoped. Um, but even then, I don't know if we're like we have the the capability to do a leather denim jacket or a leather jacket yet. Um, so we'll see. Will we ever see a Nintendo collab? Maybe. Um, maybe. I. They are not as easy a company to I think they are used to big projects um, so they're not as easy to to approach um, the ways that other companies are like for a while we were having talks with Sega um, I think that that will eventually come around. I, I talked to Atlas at one point. Um, so some some companies are easier to get into contact with than others. Nintendo is very much a uh, not so easy to deal with. Um, so I will I will definitely try one day. I would like to get a Nintendo collab. I would like to do a Pokemon collab one day. Um, that would be really cool. One hundred and fifty one genes, Generation One. Do every Pokemon. That would, be, that would be amazing and impossible. I don't think it wouldn't be impossible. It would be... Okay, it's... it's 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 Nothing's impossible. Um, but uh, that would be very much uh, not, not, not the way we would do it. Um, man, that would be such a cool collab. That would be such a cool collab. Um, yeah. Thought on flat fell seams versus overlock seams. Um, it just... They don't really, you know, that's a weird thing to ask. Um, I don't think it makes much of a difference. It's just the, the look of the gene. I would say that an overlock is easier to, um, if, you, if you ever have to do alterations, an overlock is way easier to deal with than, an, than a flat, a flat felt seam. Um, yeah. Structurally, there's not, I, you know, I'm not gonna, I don't think that there's much difference there, really. Um, Flat felt is probably a little stronger, but even then, uh, I don't think there's much of a difference. Yeah, I, I see people have some of these weird 
topic debate, like detailed debates on on the forums. And sometimes I'm like, it's so it's a weird thing to to. Sometimes the topics, not not I'm not singling this one out, but some of the topics that come up, I'm like, man, that's I wonder why people even think about that. Um, like it, it, so in some ways, some of the some of the things that are being discussed like have n like little to no uh, effect. But it's like, but I think it's just you know the men the 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 raw denim forums are tend to be very like very guy. There's a lot of guys in there, and guys tend to be very spec. They love specs. Give them, give us specs. So, like any kind of detail, we'll, we will definitely go into uh, a deep dive, no matter what. Um, you know, just think about like keyboard enthusiasts, and it's like, oh, which switch do you prefer? And it's like, to be fair, switches make a difference. I mean, I've got two mechanical keyboards right here, and uh, they definitely, you know, you know, the switches that you got make differences for sure sound and travel and all that kind of stuff but like the general world sometimes like you know to a keyboard normie trying to explain the differences between you know different switch types they they don't care and uh but even when it comes to like certain denim construction details, it's like, why did they trick this over that? And it's like, sometimes it just boils down to like, what machine do you have? Um, so, uh, yeah. Um, we're getting purple core this fall winter season. Also, uh, can we see Batman samples? We are getting purple core for spring summer 21. Um, Batman samples. I do not have yet. I will, I will have them. I'm, I'm assuming, um, sometime in August, um, maybe early September. Um, is there any more Saki or easy guy only have size 32 on the website? Uh, send a message over to naked and famous denim NYC. They might have some stock. Oh yeah. Sorry. Saki or doesn't come in easy guy. Um, that, uh, we, we had very limited fabric for that style, and the Easy Guy was the least booked, um, the least booked uh, in in terms of our wholesale orders and things like that. Um, so we we cut that style just because of the, the limited fabric that we had. Basically, there there is a sample that exists, but that that's it. Um, is it? Did somebody put that piece on the website? Maybe somebody did. Oh my God! Somebody put the sample on the website that size thirty two. Um, unless you want it, you should buy it right now because I'm I'm gonna take that off the website, like now because that that that's an archive piece. Uh, so you've got a few minutes to buy that uh, before it's not available. <laughs> um. Um. Okay. Let's go to Pokemon Club or Akira collab would be amazing. Both things I'm I will pursue. Um, is the weft on the Oka Oka Spirit four warm or just straight white? It's it's more on the whiter side of things. Um, in your personal opinion, wash or not wash your denim? You should eventually always wash your denim. Um, just got my trunks jacket in. I'm planning on giving it an, an agitated warm soak. Will the black dye ever uh, taint? Tint, taint the water part of the capsule core patch. Um, I don't think so. I've machine washed my Toxic Avenger jacket, and it did not affect the uh, the, uh, the 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 patch of the the embroidery. Um, I don't know what a soak would do. Maybe like leaving it in there for a while might, but I I don't think so. I think I'm pretty sure that those uh, the yarns in there are are they're not going to absorb color. Um, damn, is that a cherry switch? Yeah, cherry, cherry, uh, MX, I've got the, uh, cherry MX browns and the cherry MX reds. Um, although I was, uh, I was at a, uh, electronic store here and there was this top ray real force keyboard I was looking at and 
they have these silent switches, like their own version, like Top Ray makes their own switches, and uh, silent ones. And there was like this matte black keyboard. It was so nice. Um, I don't need another keyboard in my life, but I kind of, I kind of want to buy that keyboard. Uh, yeah. Um, we got some pretty well fit clear blue switch. Need any for your wall? We do need uh, faded jeans for our wall. So please, if you have a pair of faded jeans that you are no longer wearing or, or uh, you know, have, have no particular use for, um, let us know. We will uh, we'll pay for the shipping back to us and we'll give you a 20% off code on your next pair. So, uh, and, and we will preserve them forever. So they, they will be, um, they will be archived. They will be photographed all that stuff and uh and uh yeah we will uh we'll hold on to those uh will the vintage nudes ever come back maybe i want to be i want to do uh i want to do something with that idea um i'm just working on the execution of it uh so yeah colored core denim jacket possible yeah maybe in the next not yeah maybe maybe for the the next next time we do it maybe we'll do one of those um does your denim stain hands fingers the first few days yes but i would also like to say that all denim all blue jeans will even if you get a, a pair of washed jeans um from the store um they're, they're gonna stain things um that's just the, the nature of new jeans they the the indigo comes off um uh how do you care for your denim between washes? Um, I just wear them. I don't, I don't really, I like, I might shake them out or dust them out. Um, you know what works? Um, like a shoe brush, um, like a clean one, um, and just brush your jeans off or like a, a you know, some, some people have brushes for their jackets and things like that. You know, you can just get the dust and dirt out look really easily like that. And, uh, that's a good way to uh, maintain uh, your jeans. If you want to make sure that that stuff is not in, uh, uh, in your jeans, the dirt and things. Uh, the 20% off code also good for jackets and shirts? Yeah, any one item, that's right. Zeke's in here answering questions like a boss. Is uh, and Brandon included in the faded return deal? Yeah, we can make that included. Um, uh, Risa, can you read this question for me? Job do you have? Oh, do you want to explain it? Um, これはえっとネイキッドフェイムスデニムっていう、えー、ローデニムのブランドのインスタグラムで私たちは、えー、なんだろう商品企画とかあ営業とかしているスタッフなんですけどデニム作ってます。That's what I do. Thanks, Risa. Um, how do they not end up smelling funky? Um, I'm sure they do smell funky. Uh, there comes a point when the, when the funk is too much, you gotta wash your jeans. Um, the past should be one of those old holographic images that, uh, transitions into evolutions of Bulbasaur. I don't know what they're called. Uh, they're called lenticulars. Um, so on the Street Fighter collaboration, um, the the with Ken and E Honda, the pocket flashers were lenticulars. Um, Brandon and I were on a lenticular learning discovery tour in order to figure that out. Um, uh, so we do enjoy lenticulars. We went to this one place, and you know, like for me, my understanding of lenticulars was mostly like you know, promotional stuff and like stuff that kids like, but they had an entire art gallery of like, like artists who make lenticular art. It was fantastic. Uh, and it was, this is a company that did like the printing for them. And, uh, yeah, lenticulars can get pretty in incredible. Um, yeah. Len if you, lenticular movie posters are really cool. Um, I like movie posters and, uh, Getting anything big lenticular is great, um, but I don't think we could make a washable lenticular. So doing a leather patch um, would be difficult. But uh, I mean, it would probably have to do. We would the 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 pocket flasher would have to be a lenticular for that. 
Um, favorite tint of denim? I do tend to prefer uh, green casty type denims. Uh, I like a little bit of green in there. Um, I don't know why, but I also enjoy warm toned denims. Um, I would say that maybe that's my, my, my current favorite. Um, so yeah, I like, I like things with a little bit of heat in it because I like the way that it pairs up with uh, like uh, uh, boots. Like I, most of my it's not true. I would say most of my boots are, are in the brown or warmer tone world. I don't have a lot of black boots. But uh, so in, in the fall when I'm wearing uh, my jeans with my boots, um, I, I like to, them to match up a little bit nicer uh, with the warmer tones. Um, Velcro on both sides of the patch and the jean. You can just take the lentic yellow off to wash. Boom. Uh, maybe. Uh, maybe. That, that's an idea. Uh, a removable uh, leather lenticular patch, leather patch, not leather patch, paper leather. I don't know. Um, green caps, OKSP possible. What's OKSP? Uh, Velcro patch is a pretty awesome idea. Yeah, it's it's an idea. Um, yeah. To be fair, to be fair, you could you could probably do it yourself if you really were keen on it. You would just seam rip the leather patch off. Uh, I guess somehow you would sew around the edge to put the Velcro on, and then you put another bit on your jeans, and then boom, you you, done, you did it yourself. Somebody do that uh, that mod and see how that looks. Greencast, okay, I'm a spirit possible. Yeah, yeah, it's possible. It's possible. Okay. Um, we're getting to that type of time of day where it's snack time. So... Uh, Trudric blonde printed into the Velcro loops. <laughs> that could be something. Have you showered any? Have you have you showed any denim today? I haven't showed any denim today. It's been a it's been a pretty uh, interactive day today with you guys, just uh, fielding questions. Um, I'm going to post some of the uh, my true grits after the live, so you can see that on the uh, on the Instagram uh, on, on the Instagram posts. Um, What's what's the best warm tint denim coming from Naked and Famous this winter? Um, this winter we have the Huntsman. The Huntsman is the way to go uh, if you want a warm tone denim. WWE collab. One day I would like to do that. Um, I think we we will be able to do that. Uh, I'm pretty confident that that will happen one day. I actually have a notepad of all of my. WWE wrestling collaboration ideas. Um, so let's, without any further ado, let's wrap up this live stream today with some delicious snacks. Um, I'm just trying to see. We we have quite a lot in our uh, in our snack closet because we went we found a new grocery store the other day and they had a lot of uh, import uh, American stuff. Uh, so we were very happy and we went a little nuts. Um, and we bought some things. One thing that I'm... Risa, you want a snack time? Sure. What do you think we should do today? Um, I don't know. Let's see. There is... Oh, we don't have so much newness here. There's a couple of repeats. Um... I bought a giant candy bar for my nephew, like, so that's, uh, that's going to get mailed to him. Uh, oh, that's something. You know what? There's this, and I bought those banana uh, chocolates. Those are in there. I think so. Oh, oh that looks good. Oh, it's right in your hand. Oh, this one. Oh. You're not going to like oh, those. Yeah, yeah. Okay, let's try these. Huh? The sweets. It's a sweets day. Little sweets. Okay, so. I got a, a couple of things here. Um, let's enjoy. So. We'll do it from over here. Okay, so we've got a, a couple of uh, products here today. You want to introduce these, Risa? This is a Suica Bar and Melon Bar Gummy. So what's a Suica Bar? 
So it's um, like a popsicle. Yeah. That looks like this. That looks like Sega. Like a watermelon. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Sorry. And then like in the 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 uh, popsicle, these seeds are yeah. chocolate like bits. Okay. So it's pretty delicious. I don't like watermelon, like real watermelon, but I used to love this popsicle. It's just it's really awesome. Okay. So popsicle flavored. Gummy uh, that is watermelon. Watermelon flavored popsicle flavored gummy. Okay, so it's a lot of nuance here. Okay, that looks kind of neat, you know. Yeah. Uh, okay. I'm gonna try and focus in on that a little better. So yeah, that's kind of funny. And then they have. This. Oh, and they have like a, a, a like a honeydew. So this is the watermelon, and that's like the honeydew. Yeah. Yeah. I do not like melon either. You want to switch them? Oh, you don't. We'll switch them out. Okay, so let's do this. <laughs> Yep, it, it tastes like honeydew. It tastes like the popsicle. Well, these are good. I could eat a whole bunch of these. These are good. Yeah, it's okay. Not my favorite taste. Japan's chocolate isn't waxy like O. Henry's. Um, o. Henry's. O. Henry's like a candy bar. Yeah. Uh, I like O. Henry's. Um, they don't have a lot of candy bars in Japan. No. There, there's well, a bl black. Black Thunder. Yeah. Yeah. But that's like a wafer cookie kind of. It's more like crunch bar. Oh yeah, yeah. Mm. Right. Yeah, I don't like the Black Thunder is not as good as uh, American candy bars. Don't like you get so Snickers and stuff. Although they have a million Kit Kats here, that's the thing that Japan is really good at. We yeah. should do a Kit Kat episode. Just on the zillions of Kit Kat uh, things. Okay, this is. What is this, Risa? So it's a chocolate. Yep. And I'm not sure. I don't think it. I think it's just four flavors. There's four flavored chocolates in there. Uh huh. Golden pineapple. Okay. Shinano gold. It's a type of pear, like a Japanese pear. Okay. Golden kiwi. Okay. And shonen gold. It's like a type of citrus. It's kind of like grapefruit. Okay. So all gold fruit. Yeah. Chocolate. Yeah. Okay. I don't, okay. So like now, you get two of each, I guess. Okay. That's 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 or fair. Three, three of each. So yeah, Japan is you get a lot of these kind of chocolates, like it you know, kind of one by one piece kind of it's chocolates instead of a up. candy bar. Yeah. Oh yeah. Okay, so, yeah, you can't tell what the difference is. Which do you want? Um I want, I'm gonna go with pineapple. Okay, that one. Because that one's pineapple. I'm gonna go with the kiwi then. Kiwi, okay. Let's uh take a bite. Mm-hmm. Uh, hold on. So that's what it looks like. Yeah, it tastes pineapple-y. I mean, if you like flavor, fruit-flavored chocolate, it's like chocolate on the outside and then like a fruity cream on the inside. Yeah, like fruity goop. Yeah. If nobody told me this is supposed to be kiwi, mm -hmm. I wouldn't think it's kiwi. Hmm. I, I don't even know what I would think. It's, it's some kind of fruit, but it's not like... Yeah, just generally sweet. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah, mine is milk chocolatey, and you can taste the pineapple. Very pineapple. -y. Um. Okay. And then last, I opened these up before. Um. But you know what I like in Japan? At every convenience store, they have these like little brick chocolates that you can get for like, I mean, like ten cents or something like that. Mm -hmm. Like, it depends. They have bigger ones that yeah. has like stuff in it that's like fifteen cents. Yeah, but like these are like the penny candies of Japan, and uh, there's a million different flavors, and there's always something new coming. Like we got wasabi ones before, and uh, mm -hmm. yeah, what are some other like? There's also like you can make like custom make this des like design, and you can order a box with like your design very easily. It's not that expensive. Huh. So I've done that for my grandpa's birthday before. <laughs> oh yeah, that's right. Yeah. Um, so anyway, let's open these up. I don't think you're gonna like this. <laughs> my is wife it, does not like banana. Does it taste like? Oh, banana? it tastes like banana. It tastes like artificial banana. I'll give it a try. Oh, it's yellow too. Yeah. yeah. Can't. Okay. Risa, open mine up for me. So yeah, they're like these little bricks. I just like that they're like a 10 cent kind of, you know. You, sometimes you just want a little bit of chocolate in your life. 
And oh, they had this uh, chocolate mint thing the other day. That was very good. Oh, yeah. Chocolate mint is a summer flavor here. Yep. Yeah. I mean, it's mint. You want to be refreshed. Yeah, but I feel like chocolate mint at home is yeah, wintry. Yeah, it's because of Christmas. Yeah, yeah it's because of Christmas. Uh, so, anyways, like, smell it. Oh, yeah. That's... But, I mean, to be fair, I don't think I hate the banana taste. Okay. Yeah. And there's, like, a little more ju jelly goo in there at the top. I don't know if you can see that well. Yeah, it's not my favorite. Yeah. I'm going to give you the rest of this. Giri Choco? No, this is not Giri Choco, but would you give these away as Giri Chocos? Oh, yeah, 100%. Okay, yeah. It's a good one. Yeah, it's easy. Yeah. <laughs> so, do you want to explain Giri Choco? So, in Japan, Valentine's Day is a day where girls give chocolates to guys that they like. But it's just kind of became a day where like girls, like women have to give chocolates to men in general. So like when you are in school or when you are at work, you, you kind of have to give chocolates to everybody and not just the ones that you like. Like girls, back in the days, girls like in school, especially like you make chocolates for the person that you want to show that you like them. But you just buy these like little chocolates from stores to give to other people that you're not interested. But you just show them your appreciation yeah. or whatever. Just, yeah. just like you know. And then a month later. A month later, there's a white day. Um, that is a made-up thing in Japan. That is uh, supposed to be the day that men gives the girls something, usually candy or flowers. Yeah, but who knows? So it's like a reverse kind yeah, of day. Yeah, but it's not it's not widely practiced as oh. Valentine's Day <laughs> because you know it came after. There's just uh -huh. to kind of to try to, to balance, balance it out, it out uh -huh. but it's not. It doesn't work so well uh -huh. in favor of women. I see. Honest. Yeah, it's a uh, that's a it's like a Sadie Hawkins kind of situation. I know what that is. So in America, we never had. The, I only know this from television, but Sadie Hawkins was like. They would have a Sadie Hawkins Day dance. I must. I'm only. This is all. This is only what I've learned from television. By the way, I've, I've never experienced this personally. Um, so it was a day where the girls of the school were, had to ask the boys to the dance. Mm -hmm. So I guess traditionally the boys asked the girls. So this they Sadie Hawkins was the reverse day. So I don't. I don't know. Anyway, yeah. I mean it's kind of nice to like that you're forced to make a move. Uh, as a girl, at some point, mm. I, I think it's sweet. Okay. But. Yeah, it's it's a nice gesture. Um, but it would be if if the other way was uh, practiced as much, I think it's also uh, it would be appreciated as well. Maybe. Anyways, it's nice to get chocolate, so everyone should get chocolate. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, on that note, uh, I'm glad that you guys could enjoy uh, some snacks with us and talk some denim with us. And we'll be back again next Friday. And uh, like I said, if you guys uh, you want to reach out to me, uh, have some questions or suggestions, anything like that, shoot me a DM and uh, I'll, uh, I'll try my best to reply. Have a great weekend. Have a good night. When will Japanese? That's not a very nice thing to say. Anyways, I will. Uh, I'll talk to you guys later. Bye, guys.